Welcome back to the Jeez, not the podcast. Welcome back to the channel. I, I am, am your boy. I'm a boy. I'm a grown man. Welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Made Over. <laughs> you got <laughs> you, That's what you're sticking with? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. But I'm like, oh, ah, there it is. Okay. Oh. Hi, and I am Mrs. Made Over. And today we have a review for you. Today. Got a review for you. My wife ran out and got this, so I'm gonna let her um introduce this and also break down oh, gosh. what will possess her <laughs> <laughs> to go get I gotta this tell item the, right here. Okay, I gotta tell the whole story. What enticed you? I'm curious. Okay, so all of a sudden, <laughs> it's not all. They of a were not. They, they wasn't in the house. Then all of a sudden, they're in the house. It was. I have to go. I'll be back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I want to. I, I want to hear the urgency in <laughs> this right here. So we definitely have to review this right here. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> go ahead, shoot. <laughs> Okay, so I am um, a bit of a foodie. I just love to eat. So um, I'm following a foodie account, and we've talked about it before, Columbus, Georgia Eats. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's his fault. Wow. <laughs> so, um, but he, he does different posts around um, our town, locally of different places to try so one spot um i've been kind of like hearing her name and so um we have market days or like during a certain season they do market days i think from like the early spring to like right before i'll call it the winter break so right before christmas comes in mm -hmm. and so i've been following this lady you know how i am so um when I find somebody that's local and it's food related, I kind of, I don't want, yeah, I stalk their page. I mean, I stalk their page. I look for reviews. I see who they are. Are they family oriented? Like, I do deep research. Yeah, she knows the blood type. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, with this particular person, I was first introduced by Columbus Georgia Eats. Um, because I read a review and I was like, Ooh, I gotta try these because if they're that good, then I need them in my life. Um, and so I started following this young lady, and she was one of the, the shops that did a pop up. Well, the only reason why I wasn't going to the pop up, they were downtown, I had the girls, COVID. Um, you know, it's still out. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to take them and have to stand in the line. Um, so I was like, okay, can't go. And then the other part of that is I'm Sunshine with the orange truck. <laughs> so Sunshine had to make an appearance at the orange truck. So that all, that pretty much took precedence um, of me trying to go downtown and grab this little treat. So, um, so somebody got too many hats on. So then um, I ran across this shop and I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, but you got to get the full gist of it. So um, right before, well, right before Christmas, I ran across this shop. Um, I'm going to shout them out too because they have impeccable customer service. Um, Bluebell Columbus. Um, and it's like a, a shop for like custom gifts and crafts. So people basically it's a, a big shop and people have booths. So whatever they hand make or whatever, um, they bring it into the shop. So I happen to be following, uh, I started following them after being in there. I think one time I was like, Ooh, I like this spot. And so I started following them. And so just so happened, I want to say like Friday of last week, <laughs> um, I saw that, um, this young lady was going to be, it was like Friday or Saturday. I don't know, but either way, it was like the weekend. And I saw that she was going to be taking her items to the uh, to the Bluebell Columbus. So I was like, oh, 
this is the opportunity because I was trying to get some at the last pop-up and then I was trying to order some for Christmas, but you know, money, I was like, let me just be kind of wise with money because it was Christmas time. So I missed both opportunities. So this opportunity, I could not pass up. So I had inboxed the lady at Bluebell and I was like, okay, what time do y'all open? <laughs> so she was like, we open at 10. So Tuesday just happened to be my last day off. And I was determined, honey had just got a call saying that he would have to go into work and he was basically on standby. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get this treat. Like there's nothing that's gonna stop me. Well, it probably would be something, but I was like, I gotta get them. I, I just need to taste them. I, I wanna see what it is. I need to get this fixed. So she said, there they are. And so I'm counting. She was like, yours is at the bottom. So I was like, yes, thank you so much. And then I told Columbus Georgia Eats, I was like, I think I'm gonna do a review. He said, if Sunshine, and that's my other name outside of Mrs. Mo, if Sunshine say a review needs to happen, then a review is gonna happen. And yes, by the way, you need to review these. All right, so which one you want first? Cause we're gonna try both of them cause they're different flavors. You give me one each. Okay. Uh -huh. We can't get the crunchy, but here. <laughs> and then I promised Nicole she can get the one that she, you know, messed up, so. Oh, wait, I want the ball. Mm -hmm. Little sprinkle on there. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it smells so good, too. And they're firm too. Oops, I just cracked that one. Mm. See, look at that heavy fingers. Or the blue one. Because <laughs> I got the uh, chrome key. Oh, yeah. That'll be able to show. Okay. All right. Which well, one are you doing? Well, Let's do the blue one. Obviously, the blue one because you have <laughs> already. Um... <laughs> I crunched it by accident. Because it's like a, wa I, I call it like a wafer, but it's like a cookie. And we've seen macaroons made on our cooking shows because we like to watch cooking shows too. They got busted food by the sea. And if you never been to the body for a little bit, I'll keep it. You know, for anything you got. Okay. Here, my wife. Mmm. Oh. You ready? Let's do it. Mmm. What do you think? Well, you made all the noise. Well, I figured since you've been the runner, you've been the sponsor, <laughs> you've been the track downer, you might as well go ahead and take this thing over here. Okay. So, I must say, it's more than what I expected it to be. I can tell the difference from the one that I had, I think that was like homemade, homemade by, you know, like a, just a in-home parent. Um, but I've seen these made on television from shells. What's it? Zumbo. Zumbo. What's it? Zumbo? Is it Zumbo? Adriana Zumbo. That's who it's. Oh, right. Adriana Zumbo. I think he's Australian. I think I want to say he's Australian, but he's known for making macaroons. So I've seen him make them. I've seen him critique people. And y'all, even though the outside had like that little crunch, I just thought it was going to be a hard wafer all the way through, but it's not. Like inside is very soft. There's a thin layer of cream um, in both of them, but it's not too sweet. I'm not a big, big sweet eater. Um, like the icing and Oreos are too sweet for me, but that like is very perfect. You could taste the difference between the almond and the birthday cake because the birthday cake had like a little zing to it. Um, but like it was, I loved it. I mean, yeah, it was very, it was fresh because like I said, I got them yesterday morning. Um, and I did not know at that time I was supposed to put them in the refrigerator. So for them to be sitting out for you know for today they still are very fresh um i put them in the fridge when i got home but they're really fresh um and now i understand why she sells out because it's bite size it's not one of those big things where you know you gotta like take all the time but it's easy to eat a whole pack yeah. i need that whole pack sitting right here right now 
So I like them. I would actually purchase again from the ginger macaroon. I would. This was on me. Mm hmm. <sighs> Sit back. <sighs> Let the big dog eat. Let's, that's what I think of that macaroon. <laughs> What you think of that macaron? It's pretty good. <laughs> Go <Not gonna> lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, you know what this bit is. It, it's a bittersweet thing. Let's just put it like this: it's bittersweet. <laughs> it's bittersweet because it's not that sweet, and it's like for it to be, mm -hmm. I guess, base cookie type. Ordeal. Yeah, you keep talking, and I'm a, I'm a look up and see it. Whatever, like, whatever it is, uh, it, it's it's fluffy, but country, country. Mm -hmm. You know, and I guess the 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 bitter part about it that it's over with very quick. <laughs> so I understand you can. I mean, you can easily you consume can. a lot. A lot. And look down and see that your whole tray is gone. <laughs> and then, like, where's she at? I gotta find where she's at. On a scale of one to five, what you give it? Hey, I'm giving it a five all day. Wow. Yeah, I'm giving it a five. Like, right off that. Well, I'm giving it a 4.5. What? Yeah, that's right. Because it's over quick. I told you it's bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. But taste wise, I will give it a five. Yeah. But. Experience-wise, yeah. you know, it's you want very some cool. more, yeah? Because like we, no, but I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Don't yeah. think that's a bad thing. It's a great thing that yeah. people keep coming back for this and wanting more. Like, because we could have literally had that one macaron in one bite, and I think we were yeah. trying to, yeah, I was we trying to be, you know, make it into two. But I wanted it, like, know, like cool with it. If we weren't doing this, I would like. <laughs> I'm not doing I'm definitely not. That, that's everything you gotta take your time on. Yeah. Being but that it is small. It is. It is really. And I can see how, like, Nicole, um, like, how whatever she did, because I think she probably just poked it to kind of see what it was. Mm -hmm. um, water. Mm -hmm. But. But the ginger macaroon, um, we, we, we give you a, a four and a half for experience for my wonderful husband. But and you but you get a five all day. Um, so again, this is the ginger macaroon. Um, she is on Instagram. We'll put our Instagram handle up here. Um, she does not know y'all that I wanted to review this, <laughs> but um, she knows now. She knows now. Uh, but yeah, and I know she's a family. She's she's a family lady because I saw pictures and stuff. Um, but if you are in the Columbus or that area, try it out because I think she's going to be probably putting some more uh, in the Bluebell Columbus. Um, just and I think she's this was just her. I think this was just like her test. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of see how it sells. Great test. Um, but other than that, I know she does the market the market um, market days downtown or uptown columbus so if you are in that area when they start those back up be on the lookout for um ginger the ginger macaroon with her french macaroons and again we tried the um this batch was the birthday cake and um the almond macaroon so wonderful we highly recommend it yeah um well this concludes this uh food review i'm mr made over and i am Mrs. Made over. And uh, like we always say, keep God first. And the rest will be added. And watch your waistline when it comes to these macaroons. <laughs> um, and tune into the next podcast. What his background is like this. We couldn't put no food, macaroons, stuff up. So we just said, we'll just go ahead and get just it out the way. Ahead. But thank you. We love you. See you next time.